Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this case, I'm going to show you how we can create landscape and 3D terrain in a SketchUp. So, before we start this video, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Let's get to work. We have these two houses in here and we want to create some type of landscape and environment for them, but we don't know how. As you know that in the uh, 3D modeling and 3D visualizing, you can use HDRIs or background textures for your environment, but most of them didn't work and act in realistic things. So, for solving this problem, you need to create 3D trains much realistic. I want to click on these place or click on the uh, view toolbars and come to the downside and we have some option in SketchUp that called sandbox. So I'm going to click on this sandbox and close it. Now we have sandbox in here. I can move it in this place. So for creating the uh, train or better to say generating train, you must click on the uh, from scratch. So I'm going to click on it, use the origin point and start my first coordinate on the uh, green axis. So 100 is good another time 100 and now we create our train so i'm going to right click on it edit group and now for adding some type of ripples waves and mountains on our train we can click on the uh, smooth option the smooth option helps you to loft or depress your faces to shape a train mesh so i'm going to click on it and you can see some type of red circle around any type of segments and edges or vertexes. So at the right side bottom, we have some radius about 10 meter. I can increase the uh, provoked and reduce area to the, uh, for example, 18 and press enter. Now you can see we have bigger circle in this place. So I'm going to start my meshing from this point about for example 4 meter another one from this edge about maybe 9 meter and I will continue this job to fill my background so I increase the uh, radius of the affection and you can see the changes very simple and easy so I do this job several times for my better duty and it's about 9 so I'm going to reduce it to the 16 again for some type of hard edges or hard segments. Something like that can be really wonderful for this job. It's about 6 again. For this place, I think we can increase it a little bit, about 12. And I will continue this job to reach the uh, better result. So I'm going to increase one of these places like that and another one like this and the last one like this so for this midpoint i'm going to extrude it or loft it about four meter and now i want to close it so i want to place these two houses on these curved or on flat surfaces but i don't know how so I'm going to click on this simple rectangle in this place, click on the move option and use the uh, move key in here and move it to this place, for example, some place like that. So I can change the uh, this rectangle place, but before I do this work, I want to decrease the uh, height of these lofted places because I think it's a little bit too high for it so something like that is good so I'm going to click on this rectangle click on the move select this edge and for example move it to this place so we have some option in the SketchUp and sandbox tool which called stamp so when I click on the stamp I can add some type of more details on my landscape as you can see some type of flat area only for your houses something like that 
And when I press space and delete these character, you can see some type of organic place only for your 3D houses or 3D buildings. So now I can select these two houses in here, click on the move option and move it to this part. So as you can see, now we adjust our screen much better. So I can click on this place and use the smooth again and loft it about 14 and another one in here about six and something like that for background is really good so i want to add some type of lake for my environment but i don't know how so how i can do this job very simple and easy you only need to click on the rectangle and draw some type of rectangle pass with some type of big dimensions for example 26 to 66 something like that so now i can click on it and move it in here a little bit move it on the red axis about 19 meter another time about 12 meter and now i can turn my camera in this place and move it on the negative blue axis about for example 12 or 8 as you can see when I set my camera shot I can see this type of area and it's really good but I can move it much more on the blue axis for example something like this about maybe 4 or 2 or maybe 2.6 all of them completely depends on you and what you want to create on 3d SketchUp so I'm going to click on this plane again, but this time I want to use a smooth option another time. My radius is about 10 and I want to select this place. So I can feel this cutted area much easier. I'm going to reduce the radius and feel these places with some simple steps like that to normalize my faces for example 1.6 something like this and at the final you can select one of these edges and move them to the downside about 1.4 for example and now we have better realistic view of these house and landscape so something like that is good in this place we have a little bit work with these edges and vertexes and I think the job done for us something like that so the back side is not important because our camera view is something like that as you can see and now I can click on the color named water and click on the uh, for example deep water and add it to my face now we have these landscape very simple and easy. I can change the color of my job much faster, something like that. For example, 200, 230 for your blue channel. And for the red channel, I want to use 40. And absolutely, we have some type of texture size and opacity for our job. So something like that is good or you can change it to the 100 it completely depends on you but about the uh, landscape i can click on it Control a select all of these faces edges and all the things like that so i'm going to click on the uh, landscape vegetation or i can use the enscape material library so i prefer to use enscape online material library and we have grounds in here you can select different type of grasses, sands or gravels or moss for your job. But I prefer to use grass number 4 for my landscape and click on the import selection. So I'm going to close it, click on this place, click on the grass and add it to my environment. As you can see the detail of this texture is really wonderful and we can adjust or customize the color of it. So, Something like that is good for the finalizing and I want to select this place for example for my job 
and this is the final result that we have in here. If you want much smoother landscape for your 3D jobs, you can select your landscape, close your material bar, and open the soften edges on your default tray at the right side of your screen. So when I click on the soften coupliners, you can see the changes. And when I increase the angle between normals, we have completely have some type of smooth result in here. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for your watching. If you like this video, please subscribe us and goodbye.